we, uh, as everybody remembers, we hired Jeff Speck a few years back, uh, who is a rock star planner. Uh, we, we hired him, brought him in. He basically moved to the city of Hammond for a couple months, talked to a lot of us. A lot of people in here right now had a big part of that. And he made recommendations for revitalizing our downtown and changing the way. One of the weaknesses that we have when we're all living in the same area, and we've been here for years and years, is we get set in our ways, and we don't think outside of the box. When I first took over as mayor, it's one of the things I sold the city on, is sometimes it's good to bring in an outsider, to come in and look at things differently. Well, I've been here for almost three decades now, so I'm, you know, I, I sometimes get set in my ways as well. So we bring in Jeff Speck, he looks at downtown Hammond and is thinking completely out of the box, and we promised that we were gonna work with him, and he has some great ideas, and we put our money where our mouth is. Not only did we hire this guy, we're investing in his vision. His vision is to completely redesign Home and Avenue, to slow the traffic down. The weakness in downtown Hammond is a couple things. One of the big things is, it's hard to feel comfortable when you park on one side at Home and Avenue and you walk across Home and Avenue to the business side and there's traffic going 45, 50 miles an hour, sometimes faster. It's a four lane highway, not really, but yeah. You know, I go through Munster on Holman Avenue, and when I'm driving through Munster on Holman, it's very neighborly-like. It's very slow, 35, hi, how's it going, Mr. Smith? Nice to see you. And then you get to the river, and it's like, you know? And, and that's not good for business for us. It doesn't make people feel comfortable. It doesn't give the business community confidence. And that was one of the things that we want to attack. And we listen to Mr. Speck. And if you are one of the people, like, you know, I'm not going to say I've never done it, but you use Holman Avenue as a shortcut because it's faster than Calumet, you probably aren't going to be crazy about this plan, okay? Because this plan is going to slow it down. It's going to look a lot more like Munster and how when you're going through Munster on a single lane and instead of the other lane, there's going to be parking there, which is another weakness we have in downtown Hammond is a lack of parking. So we're slowing the traffic down. We're giving you guys more places to park. We're going to do everything we can to invest in downtown Hammond, including uh, some residential developments that are coming. Now keep in mind, with the South Shore expansion, the South Shore expansion is going to help us redevelop downtown Hammond as well. And eventually, there's, I wish this was part of the original plan, but it's not. There's going to be a station in downtown Hammond right by the federal courthouse, real close to 18th Street when you think about it. With all these things going for us in downtown Hammond, it's going to be a different place. And I tell you, I'm not going to tell you I don't have skeptics on this because we've seen what's become of downtown Hammond over the last three, four decades and it's hard for people to appreciate that we could turn this around. But we can turn this around. The South Shore Line and the US federal government and the RDA and all of us locals are investing close to a billion dollars for a stretch of railroad that goes from Hammond to Dyer. A billion dollars. It's gonna completely change the way that area looks. You look 30, 40 years from now, it's gonna look a lot more like Chicago, for better or for worse. A lot more like, hopefully, the rail lines, the metro rail lines and all the development and all the young people and the Starbucks. And that's what I hope 30 or 40 years from now. That's the bet. That's why we're investing this money is we're hoping, you know, 30, 40 years from now, it's going to be different. Now, there's skeptics out there that are telling us oh, rail is going away. People don't use rail anymore. And people, you know, Chicago's a dying city. If Chicago's a dying city, we're in trouble. OK, and I hear people banging on Chicago. I go there all the time, and I'm, I'm not scared when I go there. I'm scared when I see people's attitude with what's going on, and I'm definitely scared when I hear about carjackings and stuff like that. But if Chicago goes downhill, we're all in trouble. I don't care if you live in Valparaiso or Hammond. We're all in trouble if that's the case. So I suggest we pull together and try to make it work, and that's what I'm trying to do. And this is uh, Pete Vyskoski's vision. He's no longer our congressman, but I know our new congressman, Frank Mervan, completely supports it as does the mayor of Hammond. I signed on the dotted line. The city council supported me. I appreciate them for that. And we have a big investment coming to our city. And I think it's going to be transformational. And I hope it's for the better. But yeah, Jeff Speck helped us a lot, Dave.